Fistula in Eno. By Kinjal Pamecha. Hello, one and all present here. Myself, Kinjal Pamecha. And today we will talk about fistula in Eno. Anal fistulas are the most common presentations when we talk about the pathology of the rectal canal. Anal fistulas are much more common in men than in female. When we talk about the incidence of the fistula in ANO, it is about 9% in 1 million population. So now we will see what are we going to learn in this video about fistula in ANO. So definitions, causes, classification, clinical features and treatment. So let's go. Definition of fistula in ANO. Fistula in ANO is an inflammatory tract which is having an external opening which opens into the perianal skin an internal opening which opens into the anal canal or rectum. External opening is also called as secondary opening and internal opening is also called as primary opening. This inflammatory tract is lined by unhealthy granulation tissue or fibrous tissue. Causes of fistula in ANO The very first cause of fistula in ANO is the perianal abscess. The fistula usually originates from the perianal abscess because of the infection of the anal gland. As we all know, the anal gland is situated deep to the interspinster and its duct passes through the internal spinter to open in the crypts of Morgagni. So, from the crypts, the infection passes through uh, forming a track to the interspinsteric region. There it forms the abscess cavity which swells and it causes pain. After inflammation and swelling and redness and pain, it bursts out into the external environment and all the pus and all the material inside the abscess bursts into the external region. So now this leads to formation of a tract between the crypts and the perianal skin which we call as fistula. The other causes are ulcerative colitis, Crohn's disease, tuberculosis and colloid carcinoma of the rectum. Moving forward to classification. Fistula in ANO is usually divided into two, low level fistula and high level fistula. Low level fistula. Low level fistulas usually open into the anal canal below the anorectal line. Low level fistulas are again subdivided into five types. Subcutaneous types, submucous type, interspinsteric type, transpinsteric type and supraspinsteric type. So here in this diagram we can see the low level fistulas, high level fistula. High level fistulas open into the anal canal at or above the anorectal line. These are again divided into three types. First, extraspinsteric or supralevator type. Second, transpinsteric type. And third, pelvirectal fistula. Now, one must think, why are we classifying fistulas as low level and high level? Because there is importance. The low level fistulas do not have any chances of permanent incontinence because there is no damage to the anorectal line. Whereas in high level fistula, because it is above or at the anorectal line, there is fear of damage to the anorectal line which may cause permanent incontinence. Also, the fistulas can be single or multiple. When there is more than one opening on the perianal skin, it is called as multiple fistulas. There can be one or multi multiple opening in the internal side also. When there is single opening in the perianal skin, it is called as single fistula. Clinical features of the fistula. Firstly, there will be history of non-healing perianal abscess or anorectal abscess 
which may be with the purulent discharge secondly there will be rectal pain while defecation or doing any activities there will be rectal pain and third there will be prurite in this picture we can see a abscess in the perianal skin so this abscess is draining the purulent fluid so as we all saw the clinical features of, of fistula are usually there is history of perianal abscess also there will be granulation tissue which may be out pouching from the mouth of the fistula there will be induration of the skin around the fistula also when there is formation of fistula secondary to ischiorectal abscess both the ischiorectal fossae may be involved the external opening of each side of the ischiorectal fossa may be seen with intercommunicating tract lying posterior to anus this is called as horse shoe fistula good sales rule so this rule helps us to relate the location between the external opening and the internal opening of the fistula for this rule we will make a imaginary line in midway uh, in the anus so let us consider this is anus and this is our imaginary line so here it's anterior and this is posterior so if our external opening is present in the anterior part of that line so we will consider that it directly it directly opens straight into the anal canal so this tract will be straight now if our external opening is present in the posterior part so the tract will be curved and by curving it will open into the anal canal but there is one exception to this rule if our external opening is present 3.75 cm away the anal canal in the anterior in the anterior region suppose here it's uh, our external uh, opening is present so it won't go straight it will go curved posteriorly this is one exception rectal examination rectal examination is extremely important the internal opening must be filled by digital examination we have to locate the fistula and uh, and rule out whether it is above the anorectal ring or below if it is high fistula then the treatment option will be different from the low fistula even if there are multiple external openings there must be one internal opening which we need to rule out in examination proctoscopy proctoscopy is necessary sometimes to visualize the internal opening of the fistula moving on to treatment of fistula so treatment we will divide into three conservative surgical that is fistulectomy and homeopathic scope of homeopathy Uh, there is scope of homeopathy because of recurrence of the fistula, fistula homeopathy plays an important role in treating the fistula best treatment will be constitutional but one may require to treat the condition acutely when the disease presents as acute on chronic some of the therapeutics are heparsulf silesia calcarea sulf calcarea fos sulfur myristica and tuberculin so this was all about fistula in eno hope you all understood thank you so much